Hello, and welcome back to another segment of the MCR. My name is Mac. With me this morning is TJ, and we are the MCR. So this is no surprise to anyone, but Christy Nome, governor of South Dakota, uh, endorsed Donald Trump, and she had some interesting things to say, uh, say about him, and I'm just going to touch on a few. He shows up for every American, and he fights for every American. We have certainly never seen anyone like him before. Those who hate America know that he will fight every single day to stop them from destroying this country, she continued. And that the point about that is, you know, that is the goal of the of the left to destroy this country. Uh, they're not tr trying to build anything back better. Uh, that's a, it's a big lie. Uh, bef before she said that before going on to the lament, the state of the southern border under pro, uh, President Joe Biden, open border. Uh, the person in this president race who will fix that situation is President Trump. The only person in that race that I trust that will do what needs to be done to fix these issues, because these rhinos, like fat boy Chris Christie, he's not fixing anything. Uh, he's a go along to get along. He, you know, he dropped to his knees on the tarmac to uh, service President Obama, uh, and pretty much took himself out of the presidential race when he did it. Because people have never forgiven him for that. She goes on to say he is a leader, the fighter that this country needs, which you've said often, and he has my full and complete endorsement. So people. Uh, People are speculating now that uh, she might be his uh, VP candidate. Now, I would I would love that because uh, he is getting up in years and he's not in the greatest physical shape. So, should he uh, get re get elected, he would uh, you know got to worry about the health a little bit as his age and whatnot. And uh, she would be a great a great president, I believe. In fact, it brings me to my question for you. If they are able to, and it's being done in Michigan, Jocelyn Benson, the corrupt, extremely corrupt Secretary of State here, the election fixer, uh, is trying to disqualify President Trump from being on the Michigan ballot. And that's being done in several states. And this whole scam about a tr all these indictments are to get him off the ballots because they're, they're terrified he's going to bust up their pedophile ring, their corruption ring. Yada, yada, yada. You, you know the story. So my question is, is if that were to happen, let's say he gets disqualified, he gets convicted, he can't run for president. I would I would support Christy Nome for president above anybody else that's running. What do you think about that? What I think about that, I'd support her. She's easy on the eyes, for one thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a key factor, of course. I mean, I couldn't help but notice her very nice looking long, dark hair. <laughs> Yes, she's uh, she's an attractive. I'm such a male governor. chauvinist pig. <laughs> no, I, I are you I'm saying a, she's a gilf? I'm saying I'm I'm I I know she's very conservative, and I I believe I believe she'd make a very good choice. I mean, I I think he's got a pretty decent pool to pick from, and and uh, and yeah, she could be she and you know what, she could be a safe pick too when you think about it. Yeah, you know, uh, so I mean, aside from the fact that you know what, it's easy for me to sit here and say she'd be a great choice. It's e also easy for me to sit here and say she's a safe choice. You know, well, one of the problems we'll we'll have with that happening is is I don't know that she could get on the ballots in the primary in time because they have perfectly timed all of these trials against Trump, all these indictment trials to go right into the primary season. <clears throat> Well, that's an accident. Yeah, that's just coincidence, I suppose, if, for the high roaders. If Trump were to take the advice of Mark Levin, Mark Levin's beating the drum how he needs to just take this straight to the Supreme Court. And, and uh, but I, you know what? Whether or not the Supreme Court will entertain it, that's up to them. But, uh, well, I'm sure John Roberts, who hates Trump, would try to squelch that. Yeah, the the flip side to it is I would I would hope that uh, what was it Alito and uh, uh, Clarence Thomas would uh, hold some sway in that decision. I don't know, but well, the former president has a big lead over everyone. With I think Ron DeSantis coming in second, and uh, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, who I just don't trust. And uh, and you know he's 
he he's drawing crowds as large as he ever has drawn crowds. Yeah, I mean he's going to football games and and the whole stadiums are chanting USA and yeah. and uh, well, uh, there was one site that said that they faked that video of the crowd being formed. All right. Yeah, of well, course they did. I mean, don't well, believe just, what your eyes tell you. Don't listen to what your ears tell you. Uh, just believe us. That's their that's their mantra in the mainstream corrupt media, state media. But you know he's he's still he's still drawing crowds as, as large as he ever has, and you know people are waiting overnight to see him still, and 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 uh, and I'm sure the Democrats are are noticing this. You know, well they got they want rid of him for a reason. Just yeah. ask yourself a question: Why do they want this guy not to be president so bad? It isn't about mean tweets. It isn't about how he can be an asshole. And I'll be the first one to tell you: He picks fights he shouldn't even bother with. He, he yeah. should be so far above that nonsense. But uh, that's Donald Trump. That's he is who he is. Yeah. The the reality of it is, if they were to successfully knock him off, they would just uh, pick up with the next guy or girl. Yeah, you know what? and you know what? If it let's say uh, number two slides into number one, and it's Ron DeSantis. White Ron DeSantis is going to be a white supremacist. He's going to be, uh, you know, he's for slavery. Blah 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 blah. It, yeah. it doesn't matter who it is, and they, we cannot sure. let what happened in Michigan corrupt Jocelyn Benson throughout the best candidate, and we ended up with Tudor Dixon, who had some high points, but she was over the top on abortion. And that's why they picked her, because they knew that women, women who want to kill their babies, that's the most important thing in their life. And that they would vote for, uh, uh, as Kim used to call her, Gretchen Whitmer or Whitmire and such. But uh, anything but Whitmer. Yeah. Uh, that, that, you know what? Hey, women, I've lost so much respect for women in this country in my lifetime because of that. Well, I, I think the, the, uh, the only candidate that even uh competes with uh, the good looks of christy gnome would be carrie lake i don't like the short hair but whatever I all right so let's call hair. this one a wrap uh as always be safe watch your six and don't tread on me